Hello World! Being Human in the Age of Algorithms by Hannah Fry is a book that explores how algorithms, which are sets of instructions that tell computers what to do, affect our lives in different ways. The book is divided into seven chapters, each focusing on a different area where algorithms play a role, power, data, justice, medicine, cars, crime, and art. Here is a brief summary of each chapter. Power. This chapter talks about how algorithms can help us make decisions, but also how they can influence us or manipulate us. For example, the author explains how algorithms can help us play chess better, but also how they can affect what we see on social media or online shopping. The author argues that we need to be aware of how algorithms work and what their goals are, and that we should not blindly trust them or give up our own power to them. Data. This chapter discusses how algorithms can use data, which are pieces of information, to learn from patterns and make predictions. For example, the author shows how algorithms can help us find love online, but also how they can invade our privacy or discriminate against us. The author warns that we need to be careful about what data we share and how it is used, and that we should not assume that algorithms are always right or fair. Justice. This chapter examines how algorithms can help us achieve justice, but also how they can cause injustice. For example, the author describes how algorithms can help us catch criminals or prevent crimes, but also how they can make mistakes or be biased. The author suggests that we need to balance the benefits and risks of using algorithms in the justice system, and that we should not rely on them without human oversight or accountability. Medicine. This chapter explores how algorithms can help us improve our health, but also how they can harm us or mislead us. For example, the author reveals how algorithms can help us diagnose diseases or discover new drugs, but also how they can cause errors or side effects. The author advises that we need to trust the expertise and experience of doctors and scientists, and that we should not expect algorithms to replace them or solve all our problems. Cars. This chapter investigates how algorithms can help us drive cars, but also how they can endanger us or challenge us. For example, the author explains how algorithms can help us avoid traffic or accidents, but also how they can fail or behave unpredictably. The author questions whether we are ready to give up control of our cars to algorithms and whether we can trust them to make ethical choices or handle complex situations. Crime. This chapter analyzes how algorithms can help us fight crime, but also how they can create crime or enable crime. For example, the author illustrates how algorithms can help us track terrorists or hackers, but also how they can be used to attack us or steal from us. The author cautions that we need to be vigilant and prepared for the threats that algorithms pose, and that we should not underestimate them or overestimate them. Art. This chapter evaluates how algorithms can help us create art, but also how they can challenge our notion of art or creativity. For example, the author demonstrates how algorithms can help us make music or paintings, but also how they can copy or imitate us. The author wonders whether algorithms can be truly creative or original, and whether we can appreciate their art or value their art. The main message of the book is that algorithms are powerful tools that can help us in many aspects of our lives, but they also have limitations and risks that we need to be aware of and address. The book shows us how algorithms affect our power, data, justice, medicine, cars, crime, and art, and how they can be beneficial or harmful depending on how they are designed, used, and regulated. The main challenges that these technologies pose are that they can be complex, opaque, unpredictable, biased, invasive, or malicious, and that they can affect our autonomy, privacy, fairness, safety, security, or creativity. The book warns us that we should not blindly trust algorithms or give up our own responsibility or agency to them, and that we should not ignore the ethical, social, or legal implications of their use. 
The main opportunities that these technologies offer are that they can be efficient, accurate, reliable, helpful, or innovative, and that they can enhance our decision-making, learning, prediction, health, mobility, crime prevention, or art creation. The book encourages us to embrace algorithms as partners or collaborators, rather than as masters or enemies, and to use them to augment our own abilities or interests. The main recommendations that the author makes are that we need to be informed, curious, critical, and engaged with algorithms, and that we need to balance the benefits and risks of using them. The book suggests that we need to understand how algorithms work and what their goals are, and that we need to question their assumptions and outcomes. The book also urges us to participate in the design, regulation, and evaluation of algorithms, and to demand transparency, accountability, and fairness from them. My own opinion of the book is that it is a very interesting and informative read that provides a balanced and accessible overview of the role of algorithms in our society. I think the book is well-written, engaging, and insightful, and that it uses relevant and compelling examples and stories to illustrate its points. I think the book is suitable for anyone who wants to learn more about algorithms and their impact on our lives, and who wants to be more aware and responsible about their use. I enjoyed reading the book and I learned a lot from it. Smiling face with smiling eyes.